Hey guys, I've been getting a very common question of which Macs are actually compatible with this new Mac OS. So officially on Apple.com, if you scroll all the way down on the Big Sur, you're going to see a list. So it's down here below. We're going to see these. So if you guys have an iMac 2014 and up, it's going to be compatible. MacBook Airs 2013 and later will be compatible. Same thing with iMac Pro 2017 and later will also be compatible. Moving on to MacBook Pro late 2013 and later will also be compatible. We're looking also at other MacBook Pros such as the 2013 and later will also be. And then you got a MacBook 2015 and later. Moving on to Mac Mini 2014 and later. Now there are specifics when it comes down to this. For example, if you look at iMac Pro 2017 and later, it's all models. So if your Mac isn't here on the list, so if you don't have, for example, a MacBook Pro 2015 or maybe a late 2013, maybe you guys have an early 2013, it just might not work. So same goes with MacBook Pro 2012. For sure, it's not gonna have update. Now usually when you're looking at, again, I'm focusing on MacBook Pros, a MacBook Pro late 2013. Since that's the last Mac on our list, that means I personally would not update it. I would leave it at whatever Mac OS you guys have. And that's because in the past with other Macs, older models, and we updated those, they almost always come into glitches or they run too slow and then we have to backtrack and install an older Mac OS. So that's the only reason why I wouldn't suggest running the newest Mac OS on those Macs. Same goes with an iMac 2014, for example. I just wouldn't. I would leave it as is. However, if you guys have an iMac 2015, 16, or something like that, I would. My same recommendation goes into a Mac Mini, for example, 2014. I wouldn't update it. However, if it was a 2015, yes, I would. Anyways, this is a quick list. Hopefully, this helps you guys out, figure out if your Mac is compatible or not. At this point in time, there's even a lot of apps that don't work on the latest Mac OS. So even if your Mac is compatible, I would still wait a few months. And that gives every other company to try to catch up into updates and run their apps, programs 100% on your Mac with the new Mac OS. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.